So let's say I want to share the video file with uh, someone online or through email. So in order to do that, I can go to file and I'm going to go into my share option right here. And right now I cannot immediately share the file because I haven't saved it into my cloud drive. So I'm going to save it to cloud and you can see that my OneDrive uh, account actually comes in. So what I'm going to do is in my OneDrive personal file right here, let me just open that out. I'm going to save it out over here. So this is my OneDrive personal drive and it's asking me to sign in. So let me just sign in. Right, so it's signed in. And now I'll be able to some, uh, save it onto my OneDrive account. And you can see that these are all of my documents right here. I'm just going to save it as uh, teacher tube test. Right here, I'm going to save that out. Right, it's saving everything to OneDrive now and it has been saved right there. So once it has been saved, now um, the share with people option actually comes in. So you can type in the email address of the person who you want to share it. So in my web browser here, I have a temporary email which I'm going to use. So I'm going to copy this out and then share it with uh, this person right here. So I'm going to paste the email address just like that and I can choose whether the person can only view or edit. So I'm just going to leave it as it is in RAM, uh, can edit. Also, I can um, check if the user is required to sign in. I'm just going to leave uh, it as it is. I can also increase, uh, include a personal message. For example, try out for edit, just like that. And I can click share. And once I do that, you can see that the email address has been added in right there and the user will get a notification in his or her email address. So in my internet browser, you can see that it's waiting for email and the email will pop up right here anytime now. It's going to press OK, right? So it's waiting for email right there. And you can see here that there's the email that was sent. So I'm just going to click this and it'll open up the email. So you can see that the file has been shared with this user right here. So I can just click open and it'll open the file in a new web browser. So it opens the OneDrive account right here and you can see that it opens up Microsoft Visio and you can see that it is there. So you'll have to sign in. You can see that there's the B background and everything else right there and everything uh, uh, right there. So you'll have to download this in order, uh, in order to edit this out as well. So you cannot edit this directly right there. Now I sign in and now you can see that you can edit uh, the diagram. You have an option once you sign in to edit the diagram, but you can see that you cannot edit this online in the time of recording. So you have to click on edit in desktop app itself and uh, it'll open up here. So you can see the background, you can access all the files, you can zoom in and out and see the diagram. But in order to edit this, you'll have to open it up in video itself. So that is how you can share uh, the files from Microsoft Visio to someone else uh, over the uh, email or internet. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.